Hey there, it's Dave Hompes from hpylorisymptoms.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about something called the lower esophageal sphincter, or LES, and how it contributes to heartburn, how it contributes to gastroesophageal reflux disease, and why it's so important to consider the health of the lower esophageal sphincter if you're going to overcome those symptoms once and for all. Now, first of all, just very quickly, let's explain what the lower esophageal sphincter actually is. It's kind of a little trap door that sits between your esophagus, which is your food pipe, and your stomach. When you swallow, the LES opens and it allows the food to dump down into the stomach. It then closes very quickly to prevent the stomach contents refluxing back up into the esophagus. So it's kind of like a one-way valve in many ways. The lower esophageal sphincter can become weak and dysfunctional. It can remain open and it can actually start to allow some of those stomach contents to splash back up into your esophagus. That's actually one of the reasons why heartburn and acid reflux develop in the first place. In fact, it's a very common reason. Now we wanna know why the lower esophageal sphincter becomes weak. It tends to become weak for a number of reasons. And the reason yours might be weak is probably different from the reason your next door neighbors is weak. In other words, it's very individual. Certain foods can certainly weaken the lower esophageal sphincter. So alcohol consumption definitely weakens the LES in many people. Foods like chocolate, coffee, onions, fatty foods, and some of the others can also create a weak lower esophageal sphincter as well. Low stomach acid levels definitely create weak lower esophageal sphincter function. We know for a fact that when the stomach acid levels drop too low, the LES can remain open. In other words, the LES is actually pH sensitive. It needs optimal levels of stomach acid in order to function properly. Infections like H. pylori, nutritional deficiencies, stress, eating on the go, and not honoring your food and taking time to sit and digest it properly uh, are reasons why stomach acid levels can actually deteriorate and decline. And we also know that just with general aging, we tend to see a decline in stomach acid levels as well that open up the lower esophageal sphincter. Smoking is another reason for the lower esophageal sphincter being weak. So if you smoke, it's a good idea to consider quitting. I know that's easier said than done, but if you have heartburn and acid reflux and smoking is the cause, unless you stop smoking, you're probably not gonna get well again. Now, one of the things that confuses people about heartburn and gastroesophageal reflux disease is the fact that the medical system keeps pushing these acid blocking medications. You may have heard of things like proton pump inhibitors. Um, they have names like omeprazole, pantoprazole, lanzoprazole. You may be taking one of those medications as you're watching this video. I'm not saying that these medications are in any way bad, but you just need to really remember that one of the reasons you might have heartburn and acid reflux in the first place is that your stomach acid levels are already too low. So if you take medications to reduce the stomach acid levels even further, you may run into more and more difficulties. Sure, you may find the symptoms improve a little bit, but you may find that you're not actually addressing the root or underlying cause of the problem in the first place. And while ever you keep taking those acid blocking medications, your lower esophageal sphincter is likely to become weaker and weaker and weaker, which may make you reliant on the medications for the rest of your life if you're not careful. If you'd like more information about this topic or anything else related to your digestive system, please visit my website, which is hpylorisymptoms.com. There's a wealth of information to help you recover from whatever symptoms that you're experiencing at the moment. I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and I look forward to talking with you again next time. Thanks a million.